Hey y'all, welcome to Creative Illuminations. I am your host, Rashoon, coming through on the ones and twos to deliver these ma masculine messages to you. I meant to say to deliver these messages to you. As I'm waiting on a couple of you guys to come in, I guess I'll go ahead and start shuffling. Hey, who is this? These are divine masculine messages, how he is currently feeling in this current energy. So we're going to tap in and see what messages we have for the divine masculine. I know it's not a lot of masculines here. So, hey, divine feminines. What's up, y'all? Welcome to my channel. This is Rashoon, your spiritual advisor. This is the Hard Knock Life of Tarot. Thank you guys for your likes, your shares, and your comments. This energy is pertaining the divine masculine energy. How is he currently feeling? We're just going to tap in and see what messages that the divine wants us to deliver. Evidently, somebody was envious in your masculine's energy. This person has been kicked out. This situation was an unbalanced who your masculine was dealing with. I feel like there was her concerns here. So your masculine possibly was... Um, concerning or masculine, you was concerned about your health or somebody has health, uh, mental health problems here. So whoever, oh, okay. That's what it is. Thank you guys. So I'm thinking of that. There is someone that you're masculine or this could be a masculine. I don't know. Y'all let me know if this resonates and if you know anything about this other person. Anyway, let's get to it. Okay. So whoever your, this masculine was dealing with, this person has a mental health problem. They're very envious and jealous and they're very, and they're unbalanced. Boom. I can't make it up. Yeah, I feel like masculine, you was doubting getting with this particular person. Hey, Tina, how you doing? Hey, True Blue. Oh, let me see who all up in here. Hey, Avant. Hey, True Blue. Hey, Shay. Hey, Diamond. Hey, Tabitha. Hey, Stanley. And Tina. Yeah, I got everybody. Hey, new heads. Hey, old heads. What's up, me? 815. What's up, y'all? Okay, masculine. So, damn, masculine. I got your energy now. Yo, what's up, loves? Hey, unicorn kisses. Mwah. I love you guys. Thank you for staying and thank you for tuning in. Thank you for trusting in my vision. So, let's get to these messages. So, like I said, um, masculine, or if this is a divine feminine, you're watching this episode on your masculine. I feel like Whoever he was dealing with, this person um, is mentally incompetent here. This person is sick. This person needs to see a psychiatrist here. Yeah, I, I'm picking up masculine that you was doubting this particular situation or you knew this person was sick, but you still gave it a benefit of the doubt of the doubt. So you still went back to this person knowing that they were sick. But I see you turned them that, that you got out of this situation. I feel like you're happy now that you released this person. I feel like this person kept you in fear. So maybe this person was threatening your life. I don't know. You let me know. Yeah. What's up, Diamond? Yeah. I feel like this person was keeping you in fear, um, masculine. Or you was in fear of something. Maybe they know something about you. I don't know. But whatever this fear is, you had to come out that energy and face your demons is what I'm picking up. I feel like you are happy that you have cut this person off now. I see that you have accepted this person for who they are. You see that they're not changing or they're not willing to change. That they're stuck in their ways. Divine Masculine, this person was a fake empath, empath leader or an empath. empath. So this person um, did not use their intuition. This person was very false. This person was very negative, a narcissistic energy here. This person was not loving or caring. They was not empathetic towards you, masculine. And that's why you left. Yeah, yeah. I feel like this person was actually your enemy and you figured that out and you left. Yeah, I feel like you was in denial. But I feel like you're not in denial anymore. With this, with this card being in the reverse. So you know exactly who the enemy is. Yeah, your enemy has been exposed. And it's possible. this is a lover. You were sleeping with the enemy. Is what I'm picking up. This person was envious of you. Your own friend. Okay. So let's get into this energy. So you're okay. So masculine, you're starting to realize or understand that you was dealing with a karmic individual that was envious and jealous of you. And, you know, you had to learn. Out, you had to find out the hard way. But I feel like that you cut this person and you not dealing with this person anymore. And you happy. If you haven't done this, you're on, you are on your way um, of cutting this person out your life. And as you should, because this person is very karmic. Very narcissistic. Um, breadcrumbs you. Put you on silent. Ghost you. This person is, yeah. 
This person can be all about their looks, fame, materialistics, bonded to the devil, energy, temp temptress, energy. Let's see. Let me get let me get my, my cog messages. These are the cog messages that me and the divine came up with. Y'all let me know if y'all resonate with these messages. Now, this is this is coming from the divine masculine side here. So I feel like there's a divine masculine that's uh that's wrapping wrapping up a cycle, a karmic cycle. Period. Okay. You know, I'm gonna give it to you straight. I can't do it no other way. I know I lost a lot of people. It's okay though. It's okay though. But I can't lie. Shit. <laughs> we ain't gonna lie about it. We're gonna got them tap in. We're gonna be here for a little minute. Divine and masculine messages. How is he currently feeling? And whatever else messages that need to be exposed about the situation that we are tapping into right now. Let's go. Y'all got me rolling up my damn sleeves out here now. Let's see. Let's see what these cog messages got to say. Yeah, I slept with your masculine. So somebody slept with your masculine on a Tuesday. If y'all was wondering. Or masculine, you slept with somebody on a Tuesday. <laughs> yeah, 7 Eleven. Shit, somebody got them about to go uh, yeah, around 7-Eleven. <laughs> so this could have been in the morning or in the evening. I don't know. Shit, you tell me. Somebody with wave, with a wig, lace front, micro braids, sister lock, short hair, natural hair. Yeah, somebody with brown eyes, hazel eyes, green eyes, blue eyes. You know, we got them. We get the characteristics. Your mask can sell up with someone who got one of these right here. And who got one of these air colors? Or masculine, you slept with somebody on the Tuesday around 7-Eleven. <laughs> or oh, I can also look at 7-Eleven as a blessing is about to come in for some of you guys. Yeah, Oshun is here. We got the Most High is here with us. Yeah, and our ancestors and, and, and the um, Orishas. Yeah, this, this karmic doesn't have any self-love. Yeah, and I see that you're in love with the universe. Collective. 333, let's go. Yeah, let's get into it. Let me get some more messages. Y'all let me know if y'all fuck with these cards. I'm gonna get into it. Yeah, the moon reveals secrets. So these secrets are being revealed. Damn. I hope somebody wasn't cheating. Cause somebody, yeah. Damn. Somebody got caught up on Tuesday. Oh, uh, 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 this masculine got caught sleeping with somebody Tuesday. Damn. What's up, Courtney? <laughs> Shit, something about six hours. About a proud hoe. This is another energy. Something happened six hours about uh, to a proud hoe six hours ago or will be happening in six hours. I don't know. <laughs> I'm just reading the cards. Yeah. Can we pick up where we left off at? So there's an individual that, individual that want to pick up where you guys left off at. But you like, man, I don't know about all that. This mind of a matter. Uh, your twin flame. That's a karmic. He want to get down, re resonate with you. So the karmic he was dealing with. Okay, masculine. Okay, I'm talking to divine feminists. I don't feel like there's no masculines in here. Okay, divine feminists. Masculines, where y'all at, man? See, that's why I keep on going. I keep talking like that because I ain't no mask. Where my masculines at? Masculines. So I got two masculines out here. What's up, y'all? Look at this shit. I got two masculines out here. I got one motherfucking masculine that was dealing with a proud hoe. Something about to happen to her in six hours. Okay? But I got a I got your karmic masculine. He ain't even healed yet. So I got another individual who ain't healed. Can you yeah, I do I do charge off individual readings. I charge ten dollars and ten cents for personal readings for two decks, and I charge for uh six decks fifteen dollars and fifty cents fifteen cents. Hey there, pineapple. But look at here, you like, man, I'm not deal I'm not worried about you, uh, masculine, uh, karmic masculine. So this is the karmic masculine. Okay, here we go. So the karmic masculine trying to come back towards you, possibly in the next six hours. Okay? But I feel like that he was, this is somebody, he was, he's still dealing with a proud hoe. Oh, that's what it is. Oh, okay. So we got your old masculine, your old twin, your twin flame, still in karmic energy that want to come back towards you, Chad. He's still, he's saying, and this could be happening in six hours. We finna bust that shit wide open. Yeah. <laughs> but I, yeah. Huh. And so is this the same masculine? Yeah. But I slept with your masculine. So this is the same masculine. That's coming towards you. He's still dealing with this proud hoe that he's supposed to cut off. And the moon is revealing secrets right now. And you're not going back because you already got a good feeling that he was dealing with this, this other hoe. That's why he ain't going back. Oshun is here to deliver these messages. Yeah, he dealing with a karmic that don't love herself. 
This could be an earth sign energy. But he gonna come towards you like, hey, can we pick up where we left off at? Because he know that you got a blessing coming towards you. Oh, this could have happened Tuesday or this will be happening this coming Tuesday, next week, Tuesday. Either this already happened or this will be happening upcoming Tuesday. Yeah. You can have a wig, lace front, sister lock, short hair, cut a natural hair. Brown eyes, hazel, brown eyes, uh, brown eyes, hazel, blue, red eyes. And maybe you're about to get a blessing. And that's the only reason. Oh, that's the only reason he coming back. Let's get to the cards. Yeah, because you're a public speaker. Yeah, you got a bag coming towards you. Woo. Yeah, you're going to be rich one day. On the back of that, that, that card. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. But I feel like that you're going to cancel this out one month. So that could be next month. Aries energy. Yeah. You canceled this shit out already. He called last night and asked if he could come back. <laughs> you canceled that shit. It looked like. <laughs> yeah. I always wear a mask. The comic energy always wear a mask. And the and masculine always uses his uh, phallic to please these karmic energies. And he always wear a mask. So he's wearing the mask again. And he thinks that he can use his phallic to, um, I guess, <laughs> masculine. Why are you doing this, masculine? I feel like I done went from, the, damn, masculine. I had high hopes for you today, masculine. Damn, mask. This is the karmic masculine. No, this is not the divine masculine. This is the karmic masculine. Let's take that back. Hey, Jessica. So the karmic masculine is trying to sway you over with his phallic. Okay. <laughs> and he's still wearing a mask and he's still not telling you about the karmic that he's about to sleep with or he's already slept with. Okay. It's the same old story. All right. Yeah. I feel like this person could be dealing with a Gemini energy or air sign energy or there's an air sign energy here. Yeah. Tupac spirit, the life we live as thugs running with my gun in hand. So this is somebody who could be, you know, somebody for the streets. Okay. Somebody who's good with that play. And that's all I'm going to say. Hey, Heather, you're back. Jim here. Hey, what's up, Steve? But y'all, let's get to the message. I'm going to put up this deck and we're going to get some um, tarot on this. Chad. <laughs> he say, you finna get that bag. He said, you finna get that bag. He want to come back home. Can he get some of that bag? That's what he said. Aquarius and she's a Libra. Oh shit. He said, can he get that bag? But he's but he's still telling you lies and shit. Look, Levant and then to them streets, to the streets. I'm trying to tell you. <laughs> you right, Empress. <laughs> oh my God. That's one situation. Let's pull the situation out, yo. We're gonna put some cards on this shit. Let's put the cards on it. All right. <laughs> So let's get, get us, give us the energy on this masculine who trying to come after a divine feminine for the bag. So, and he's still wearing a mask. He's still dealing with other women. There's a karmic energy also who wears a mask, somebody who doesn't love their self. Let's expose this energy. Not everybody energy, but somebody energy. Take what resonates, disregard the rest. All right. I am open for personal readings. If anybody do need a personal reading. If you do, then I will let you know the information. Just say, yay, can I get one? And I'll let you know how you qualify for that personal reading. Yeah. Let's go. Nice to see you too, Andy. So let's see. Now we're going to do a signifier, a signifier card. So let's see what's, what energy is this. Oh, that's what we're doing. What energy is this karmic masculine energy in? <laughs> We're gonna look at here. Let me get my let me get my energy checked in right. We're gonna get down. You know, we're gonna we're gonna make it easy. We're gonna take it. What's it? Rolling, rolling, rolling on the river. I said we'll be rolling, 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 yeah. Rolling on the river. Yeah, get up to two 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 da 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 Oh, proud Mary, keep on, come on. Somebody be on that proud Mary. 
It's a lot of be on that. Two, 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 two. Da 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 Oh, Jasmine. I got to talk to Jasmine. <laughs> anyway. Yeah. <laughs> your person is in this devil energy. And he trying to get you stuck on some toxicity. He trying to bow your ass. He said, yeah, girl, when I get you, I'm going to bow your ass. You ain't going nowhere. He the motherfucking devil. <laughs> you better stay away from this motherfucker. <laughs> I like what the love got to do with the secondhand emotion. Hell yeah. Second, I'm trying to tell you, sis. <laughs> Lord, I hope so shit. I'm trying to tell you. I wish the hell I wouldn't goddamn pay. Why the hell I wouldn't be? <laughs> Let me stop. I'm stupid. Oh, man, I'm tripping, y'all. I'm over here having a good time, man. This shit funny as hell. <laughs> But anyway, your karmic masculine, man, that motherfucker still got them in this evil ass, <laughs> ass energy. Yeah. You said, man, if you don't got them carry your ass on, you can't juggle me. You can't juggle me no more. Why are you trying? I told you. I told you. You can't juggle a divine feminine. She's not going for it, masculine, or whatever the case may be. <laughs> oh, okay, let's get back to it. Yeah, you already know he's in a karmic relationship, possibly with an air sign energy. <laughs> they try to cut me out. Yeah, they try to cut you out, Andy. <laughs> Yo, check this out, though. Look. Hey, you came back with full vengeance though. You like, man, look at here. You, you like, man, look at here. You can't come to me sideways, front, back, side to side with no communication. I already got communication. How dare you try to tell me that you ain't with nobody else? Get out of here. You still dealing with the Empress energy. Who is the motherfucking devil? Are you, are you serious? You still attached to the devil, homie. But you want to come over to the divine feminine house. Masculine, I got to check your at the karmic masculine. This is the karmic masculine. I got to check the karmic masculine now. He got to get up early in the morning to pull one on me. <laughs> no, right? <laughs> that dang tar. This fool started a business with this person. But they losing money. He picked the wrong person over you, but... That's the one who chose this person over you. He want to come back and he's still dealing with this person. Lord have mercy. Lord, when they going to learn you cutting this, you cutting communication off. You're not dealing with this. It's, 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 it's like save your breath. You know, you know, hold, don't, 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 don't. What's that Bryson Teller song? Just don't, just don't. This the divine feminine is just too, uh, uh, mm. She's very grounded and, and would cut you, cut you like a precision knife with, you know, the silence in the room. I don't think you want to deal with her right now, Escalin. After you done put her all through this and then you still trying to wear a mask to come back towards her, like you are really, really pushing the button. You might as well just stay where you at. Like, you know, don't set the alarms off. <laughs> That's what I'm thinking of. I said a woman in masculine energy. Yeah, that she is though. Andy, Andy Tower. But I'm just saying though, masculine. God dang now. This is the comic masculine. Oops, that's not for you, sugar. Nope. <laughs> I suggest look, 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 masculine. You know, but see, you, you, but you, but you coming towards this divine feminine like she don't know better. Like she boo-booed a fucking fool or some shit. And that's why. She gonna goddamn be looking at you like, boy, are you crazy? You done bumped your motherfucking head over here. 
If you don't turn your monkey ass right back motherfucking around and get the fuck out of my face with that bullshit. Seriously. <laughs> it keep freezing. It keeps freezing. I'm sorry, y'all, if it keep freezing. Can y'all see me now? But Chad, yeah. Yeah, th this person is going through karma. You better not go back towards this person. He going through karma. And you are recovering from a heartbreak. He may have slept with three other women over on you. Broke your heart, stabbed it, and, and, and carved it out with all three knives. Yeah, she has stolen. Go back to broke me. Yeah, she has a salon. <laughs> Chad, let's get to the next energy. That's somebody energy, not everybody energy. Masculines. Whew. Now, that was a karmic masculine all right that wasn't my divine masculine energy no my divine masculines ain't like that my divine masculines don't wear a mask they keep it real they keep it honest they keep it gutter you know for real <laughs> like one in the clip click clack <laughs> one ticket i can't say what i want to say don't ban me tiktok y'all know i got a mind of a maniac <laughs> i'm just saying dope I ain't playing though. <laughs> that means a lot of people misinterpret it. Yes. Thank you for clarifying. That means a, a lot of people misinterpret it. Yes, indeed. That's why I'm here to clarify. I'm your clarifier. Let me help you out a little bit more. Yeah. You are a chosen one. What's up, chosen ones? What's up? Y'all say hey. If y'all part of 144,000. What's up, y'all? Hey, ho, hey, ho, hey, divine masculine energy. What's going on with the divine masculine energies? What messages can I get the divine masculine energies? Can I please get messages for the divine masculine energies? I feel fucking hype in y'all energy, divine masculine. What the fuck y'all on? Some coffee or some shit? The fuck y'all happy? I see. Y'all gotta be fucking happy because I'm motherfucking like joyous and like giddy and shit what's up hey masculines i feel fucking good in your energy y'all got some good ass energy what's up hey let's do it we are the boss you already know yes i got two weeks so something is about to be presented towards you in two weeks masculine what are you about to experience in two weeks Ooh, you deserve accolades for your hard work in two weeks masculine energy so you're about to get a grant, a raise, a money payout of some sort, Divine Masculine. Damn. Okay. I know you're jaded, love. It's time to let that pain go. So Masculine, you could be going through a breakup or you're about to go through a breakup, but I'm letting you know that don't be jaded. I know you have to work through your feelings, your emotions, but you will get through this process. Okay. You will heal, Divine Masculine. Okay. Andy, I, I had to align my chakras and reclaim my energy. Let's do this. Yes, indeed. I see that time is of the essence, TikTok. Someone did not want to end out a situation here, possibly an air sign or a water sign energy. There was someone who, you know, wanted to delay a ending that was, it was going to happen anyway. Someone tried their best to stop this ending from ending from happening. Let's get some more energy. I know that's right, Andy. Represent 144 in the house, baby. Yeah. Something about eight hours. Maybe you're about to also, well, something could be happening to you in eight hours. Maybe you're about to hear something in eight hours. Some type of communication could be coming towards you in eight hours. I feel like that you have a payout coming towards you in two weeks, but you're going to get some type of information or download or some type of symbol in eight hours. So pay attention. Use discernment. Like I said, pay attention. Yeah, somebody got that walk. Uh, Excuse me, damn. What about this person got that walk? <laughs> Is this, yeah. Something about eight hours. Somebody got some walk. Use discernment about this person who you know that got some good walk. This is what I'm picking up masculine. So there could be a karmic energy that got some good walk. I'm going to just be all the way real with this. Don't get dang fall for the trap. Venus fly trap. 
That was confirmation. Drink some water. Eight, eight, eight. Yeah, let me drink some water. Thank you, baby. Yep. Confirmation burp. Yep. I gotta get some more. But yeah. Chad, what's going on? Yeah. Oh, look at here. That's a fake friend. She may got some goddamn good good, but she a fake ass friend, co-worker, lover, or some shit. She ain't to be trusted. Use discernment, and this is going to be happening in eight hours. All right? They are with the trap. Yeah, they are with the trap. Chad, they got that. Hey, they know what they be doing, Chad. Yeah, and look at your masculine. If you don't, you're going to be like, damn, I should have listened to my intuition. So this would be like the neglecting energy, right? If you do choose to go back towards this individual at the, the, the outcome of the situation is damn, I should have listened to my intuition, right? Knowing that this motherfucker ain't shit. <laughs> A beautiful present wrapped up. That's full of shit. That's what you don't want. Yeah. what I tell you? I cut the deck. You are part of the 144,000. We all make it up around here. What up people? <laughs> Yeah, you are a motivational speaker. Yeah. Yeah, the baby ain't yours. She got pregnant by another masculine. He tried to get you pregnant. Take that as a reservoir masculine. This bro tried to say that the baby was yours and the baby ain't yours. Yeah, use your intuition. Get that paternity test, please. Yeah, this person did not find they self-love. This person is not. Yeah, this could be a fire sign energy that you possibly got pregnant. Okay, I feel like masculine, you found your self-love. Now you can use your intuition. I feel like you know that baby ain't yours for certain people. Y'all know who y'all are. Yeah, you got courage, Leo. You got courage to, uh, to put this person in that place. Yeah, a karmic tried to copy you. So she would choose. So, so this masculine's karmic energy tried to copy your style, your swag, divine feminine. So masculine, if you, if you, if you let go of a divine feminine, you, you, you took on the copycat, not the prototype. This bro just said, I tried to copy you. So the masculine would choose me over you. You chose the wrong God dang lover. Now this could be a divine masculine that just made the wrong decision here. You feel where I'm coming from? Not everybody's situation, but somebody's situation. I know that's weird. Virgo's always in the house. You already know. That's weird. Yep. <laughs> so, like I said, this this man don't mean no harm. I mean, it is what it is. You know, you know, shit happens. You know, like I said, I ain't, look, I ain't here to judge no motherfucking body. But I just felt like you made a goddamn a dumbass decision. I feel like you and a divine feminine could have had just begin a relationship, but you... Chose to go back into an old relationship and now you in regret. That shit crazy. Yeah, this, this situation is over with though. You're done with this situation. As you can see, it's two different masculines. One is still involved with one and one is, is out. It's still, it is ending it with the other. As you can see, what's going on here. But we're getting into more of the characteristics about these karmic energies that these masculines have picked. You have both energies who are copying you who are envious of you, who are jealous of you. Now, these masculines try to run away from you, the your authentic take me who I am you, the, the real you, and they try to, and they run into the copycat you. Now, let me know, masculine, if that make any sense. Now, help me make that motherfucking sense. How do you run away from the real prototype, the real product, to go towards the copycat? How do you think this is justice? How do you think that you're going to live happily ever after with somebody who's trying to walk in your divine feminine shoes? Make it make sense. It doesn't make any sense. What is it that you have against your divine feminine or whatever that you can't pick her? What is the problem? Make it make sense. Why can't you commit to your divine feminine as you do to these karmics? Don't you see every time that you involve yourself with these karmic energies, they leave you out on your ass to dry. They're not there for you emotionally, physically, spiritually. Come on, man. 
Is it that because you was going through trauma as a child? Did you get the loving and care from your parents that you that you needed that that you really needed? You didn't know it because you didn't get it because you didn't receive it. And I'm not blaming your parents, but this is the problem in most of our neighborhoods is because we we lack the love. The man lacks the love in in their in their households. They're taught to be don't cry, be stern, man up. Don't show your feelings. Don't be emotional. When they really need love. Like LL Cool J say, I need love too. And it's fucked up that the men are raised up like this. I don't blame the masculines. I don't blame the parents. I blame the motherfucking system. The systematic things of what took us from slavery to where the fuck we at now. How the hell we go from royalty to loyalty to motherfucking slaves to goddamn being, in co being stuck in cognitive dissonance. Tell me, man. Tell me how can we be stuck like this? There's no way that we're supposed to be stuck on stupid. This shit is stuck on stupid, man. I'm trying to unstick us. That's all. That's all. <sighs> that shit crazy. And I don't got nothing against the masculines, but this shit started from the household. This shit started from the DNA. This shit started from the bloodline, man. And that shit got to be uh, uprooted. That's why there's generational curse breakers. That's why you're a generational curse reverser. That's why you're meant to be here to break these curses over your family life. And it's not going to be easy. It's not. You got to sweat blood, sweat and tears at this bitch to get them save your family from this bullshit, from this perpetual abyss state of being fucking lost, man. Real shit, man. I'm pissed off because shouldn't nobody have to go through this. No masculine or no feminine energy. For real, man. That's what we're here to tell the truth. They are separated the tribes. They were spiritual. Exactly. What's up, Cheryl? What's up, Luna? Y'all, this shit is kind of touchy, though, because this shit, you know, why, the, why are masculines and feminine energies, even the karmics, act the way they do? Because it's how the house, it's, it's the household, it's, 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 it's the trauma, it's not healing, not, not, not having no one to talk to, um, being withdrawn, not, not being able to, to represent yourself or being heard or, or needed someone to talk to. They, they've been hurt too. I'm not making no excuses for the motherfuckers. You know what I'm saying? But I'm just being all, I'm just being all way real. This shit affects everybody. You know what I'm saying? The only thing with the karmic is they, they know they just don't choose to learn. What, but once you wake up, then you, I mean, when you wake up, like I was, like I said, I was a karmic. I just say, fuck that. This life ain't get me nowhere. Let me get the fuck up out of this life. And let me get them jump on the, back on this wheel of fortune, man. For real. So it ain't the fact that I got anything against the karmic. It ain't that. It's the point that they, they make dumb ass decisions. But they've been through the, 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 the same amount of trauma we have. So, yeah. Yeah, the woman with the stronger ones. Yeah. Me too. Like I tell people, goddamn, like the, the with the lion in the goddamn field here. Who go out there to hunt? I'm gonna be always real. The women is the warriors. I ain't got. I'm not trying to uh trying to trying to diss my men or nothing like that because y'all are the 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 bread bringers in the household. But and you do, you guys are very supportive to the womenhood. But I'm telling you, even in the animal field, I'm just saying though, shit. What the motherfucker? What do the king do? And what do the lioness do? She go out there and hunt. I'm being always real. That's what we do. We fucking rebels. We got them. We, yeah, we protect y'all. We'll step, we'll put our neck out there quicker than y'all will. I'm being dead for real. Y'all know it. For real. Let us be on that front line. I'm being our way real with you, but it's balanced. It's balanced between the masculine and feminine energies. The masculine got feminine energies and the feminine got masculine energies. It's all about respecting each other's boundaries, man. Come on, for real. It ain't even about that, that, that sex shit. It's about got that. I protect you. You protect me. I wash your hand. You wash mine. At the end of the day, it's about equilibrium, bringing balance, prosperity, hope, faith back into the system. If I'm going to be programmed then let me reprogram me and program me set myself up with something that's going to be fruitful and, and plentiful and, 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 and live out this motherfucking AI state until the fucking robot system crashes. God damn it. <laughs> we are the fucking robots. What the fuck y'all think this is? Oh, shit. Did I speak too much? <laughs> Avatar? <laughs> What's up, Avatar? You think you in control of this shit? All right. <laughs> You're right about the equilibrium, the balance receiving, not just giving. Most definitely. These people toxic than a motherfucker. <laughs> no. <laughs> 
Yeah. Yeah. I feel like you're on your way to fame. The truth of Yeah. Or fame. Somebody was all about fame. Or somebody feel like something about fame. Whatever. We're going to pull some tarot on this anyway. Something about fame. You could be on your way to fame. Or this person um, look at you as someone that's in the, uh, what I'm going to say, the spotlight, whatever the case may be, whatever. But the sun illuminates the truth here. So we got them speaking facts, the truth, nothing but the truth. So help me God. For real. I raise my hand straight up to the sky and tell God the truth, nothing but the truth. So help me God. I'm going to lead the way, show the way and become the way. Yeah. Be the vo voice for the way. I am the voice. I am the voice for the people, the people's champ. Yeah. We coming through and we got them. Yeah. With them bulldovers. <laughs> bulldovers. <laughs> yeah. We coming through, we mashing them, we running over. Yeah, yeah, we truth seekers at this bitch. Yeah, we seek the truth. Yeah, yeah, you meant to be a multi-millionaire, let's go. Damn, I like how they got them clarified that. Multi-millionaire, you're going to be rich one day. Just keep on staying on your path, baby. Can't nobody tell you, you not going to be rich. You not going to be a millionaire. You not going to be a trillionaire. If you say one day, motherfucker, by gosh, I'm going to be a motherfucking millionaire. Then by gosh, motherfucker, you going to be a millionaire. And don't you let nobody tell you, you not. I bet that this is how you manifest. You know, she know I'm going to be a trillionaire. I want to be as goddamn abundant as the motherfucking universe. How about that? How about that? Let God be your supplier. That's how you receive and you are always receive for the rest of your fucking life. Let's go. Yeah. I only wanted the masculine for his money, but I fell in love with him. Now he wants you. Now this motherfucker wants you. <laughs> he been want you. I feel like this your soul. This, this is divine masculine. Yeah, this is divine masculine energy. So like I said, divine masculine, you made a, a damn dumbass, stupid ass decision, but you get redeemed. You still seem as a divine masculine, but you get redeemed. Because this situation was, it didn't last long. So you get redeemed. Divine masculine. Now you know better. It's like you got your hand, you just got, ugh, yeah. <laughs> she was taking his money, yeah. <laughs> but she, she let you know in this card, like, she, I would just want your money. And then you see the green. And then she was trying to copy you so she can get your goddamn spot. I told you. She wanted what this masculine was going to give you. She wanted it for herself. She felt like she was obligated, that she deserved it, that it was meant for her. So she was going to do anything that she could to throw you under the bus to make this masculine look at you in a delusional way so he can cut you off so she can so she can come in and confiscate that energy. Yes, that shit crazy, man. What's the next energy? Yeah, you got beauty and brains. You smarter than a motherfucker, baby. Yeah, you could be an earth sign energy too. Shit, you can like the color green. Shit. <laughs> Let's put some tarot on this situation and then I'm going to end it. I just came through to give you guys some energy. Thank you guys for the likes and shares and the comments and subscriptions. You guys are the best. Please remember to follow me on Facebook under Rashun, R A S H U N, under um, Instagram as well. Um, R A H underscore Shun S H U N underscore 33. I am also on YouTube at the Hard Knock Life of Tarot. I am not only a tarot card reader, but I am a hypno Reiki practitioner therapist. You are so funny, but on point. Thank you so much, Cheryl. <laughs> so I am not only am I a tarot card reader, but I am also a hypno therapist. Um, a hypnotherapist. I am also a mentor, life coach, health coach, and business consultant. I heal things for, for individuals who have diabetes, eye problems, sugar problems. Uh, no, I have already said that. Stomach problems, um, fertility problems, fibromyalgia, um, and so much more that we do. I also help people uh, tune in into their gifts and abilities. I also help people get rid of demons and uh, demonic uh, energies that surround them. Uh, what else do I do? I'm also a teacher, so I teach um, astrology, birth records, birth birth chart rec readings. I do birth chart readings, and I teach birth chart readings, how you can read your own birth chart. I also, uh, what else? I teach Egyptology. I, I teach a lot of stuff. If you guys are interested in any of the classes or any of the products that I offer, please visit my website at creativeilluminations.net. 
creativeilluminations.net. Anyway, let's get back to the messages before I end out for tonight. If you guys do want to just donate to the channel, you can donate at Starseed1983, Starseed1983, Starseed1983. I need to talk to you, girl. I need you. Yeah. I work with the, 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 the doctors. So I will. Yeah, sis. Hey, take down my number. We could talk more. Most definitely. It, it is 980-312-7821. 980-312-7821. Check out my website and, you know, just look around and tell me what you guys, you know, what, 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 Peaks your interest. I do give out free member points. Um, and anything that you spend with me, you will get half off on readings. You will get half off on services. You will get, you know, just certain, certain incentives once when you become a member at Creative Illuminations. So don't forget whenever these points are free, when you sign up on the website or when you just buy something, I will give you member points and that will, you know, start your journey on receiving discounted products or free readings in the near future. So let me continue. Like I said, you got a king of cups that's coming towards you. Well, masculine, you're here. So masculine, I see that you're loving, you're caring, you're nurturing. Okay. I feel like you want to marry this person or you are married or you want, yeah. So you did marry this person or you was married to this person or you was in a committed relationship with this person, masculine. King of Cups energy. This person cut, lost a child or you found out the child wasn't yours or this person was not telling you the truth. Yeah, I feel like that you blocked, you putting your blocks up to this person, masculine. King of Cups. Yeah, this person broke your heart, masculine. Leo energy, you gaining the strength to move forward, masculine. Yeah, I feel like your person was, um, hold up. You broke somebody hard here, masculine. You was in the emperor in a reverse energy and you and you backstabbed somebody more than one time. Masculine. And now you're going through regret, masculine. You're going through the dark night of the soul. You're going through anxiety. You can't sleep at night. You're haunted. You're going through self-blame because you picked somebody else over this divine feminine. You was being nasty, mean, and rude towards her. You had a weak foundation. You did not speak up for your in your truth, masculine. Damn. And now you in regret for how you treated her, how you did her. Damn. Now you realizing that this baby mama, this energy was just not. She was. She she didn't cut the team. She wasn't who she said she was. I wasn't as being asking you in the room to anyone that were mean to me. That was mean to you. Oh man. Guess he did me beyond and I'm going to be okay. Yeah. I understand y'all. I feel like yeah, masculine, you rushed in into a situation too fast. I feel like you didn't, you didn't study the subject fast enough. I feel like you was dealing with somebody who was very fast and promiscuous. Somebody who could be very beautiful, very, um, yeah, somebody could have blue eyes here, brownish hair. Somebody is very young looking in the face. Somebody thinks all about sex. This person is always fast and ready to do it is what I'm picking up. They like taking bold actions. And I feel like you move, to, you move on this person too fast without really doing your research. And figuring out what was going on. You may have looked at this divine feminine as somebody who was fast. Hmm. Knight of Wands energy. You took a bow action. What's this bow action about? Clarify this Knight of Wands energy. Yeah, you took a knot, yeah, to a Queen of Cups energy. So you thought this was your queen of cups, masculine. Damn. And she wasn't. She was somebody who was all about promiscuity. Promiscuity. I guess I'm saying that right. Y'all made up a fucking word. Promiscuity. <laughs> promiscuous. A promiscuous girl. Yeah, she was very beautiful. But she was very got there. She was taking and dragging and, um, and depleting your energy, your funds. You went, you, you. 
She, you was hot for her. Shit, you wanted her masculine, but she had other plans. This was a baby mama. Some truth was found out about a baby mama or somebody you had a child here with. Yeah, you had to gain strength to walk away from her. She broke your heart again. That's why you're blocking her. But I see that you're all in your head because you left someone in the cold. Yeah, you was being nasty, mean, and very fucking arrogant. Yeah, you left this divine feminine for a queen of cups energy. Yeah, you have betrayed this divine feminine more than one time with this energy. Yeah, but this cycle has came to an end. I feel like this divine feminine found this out and she ended this situation. Maybe that's when you start to go through your nightmares and night terrors. I don't know. Yeah, but this situation, uh, this whole situation is dead. Period. All right. So what's the energy towards this this energy right here? How is him and the, the divine feminine are going to play their energies out in the near future? What is it? What are the energies that's going to play out for this particular energy in a divine feminine? You know the queen keeps it moving. So let's see. Well, I'm going to leave these cards right here. Let's see. I'm going to get some cog messages. Let's get some cog messages. We're going we just playing around, y'all. Let's see. <laughs> We're going to get the truth, though. You know. I see you, you left your divine feminine, and she was very dedicated. She's a very hard worker. Loyal. Yeah, five hours. Yeah. Something about you wanted, you didn't want to change. You was wanting to be a man whore. I'm just not, this is it, not everybody's situation. This is somebody's situation. I'm just saying. You didn't want to, you did not want to commit. So this person was, so you possibly had an open relationship with your baby mama masculine. Yep, he thought he could come back. No, he hurt. Yeah. I feel like, yeah, this is masculine energy. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like you was dealing with somebody who is kicked out, uh, who has, who is a part of the occult, but they're dark as fuck. Fairy blood in reverse. So there's somebody who did work magic on you, Chad. Yeah. I got I get triggered every time you make a post to karmic energy. What I tell you? That bit that bro, she be watching your videos. Catch me on my video, how? Catch me on my video. Let me look good for you, child. Do I look good to you? Let me throw a kiss at you. Mwah. Let me throw a kiss at you. Mwah. Do I look good to you? <laughs> how I look to you? <laughs> Am I picture perfect? Hey, how you doing over there, Miss Lady? <laughs> Y'all know I don't give a fuck. <laughs> God, absolutely so. I'm going to represent for the Divine Feminist. The Divine Feminist say, do I look good to you? Do you want me? Do you see why your masculine want to be with me? Do you see all this God in me? See why it's me and not you? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, we did. And she looking, I don't care. I know, right? She mad as hell. <laughs> but the answers don't even deal with her ass, though, Chad. They funny as hell. Yeah, she a fallen angel. You not, though. They try to make it seem like that you was demonic, but you not. You see fallen angel in the reverse. You ain't no fallen angel. And guess what? You about to reap the rewards for your hard work. What? So look at here. She made it seem like that she was the real fairy. But she the fake one. She tried to make it seem like that you was the fallen angel, but the card is in the reverse, in the reverse. So that means that you are the real angel and she's the fake and she's the phony and, and God is about to show out in your life and going to show your enemies what God got in store for you. And what does the next card say? You will reap the rewards for your hard work. Bam! Study long, study round. Don't be a fool. You play by, you play kid games, and you get fucked, don't you? Yeah, this person is toxic, foul, nasty, with a rude-ass mouth. I bet you she won't say that shit to your face. Yeah. Looking like horse shit. Ooh, shit. Stop, Rena. Yeah. Your third eye is activated. This person has no self-awareness. Chad, don't block me. Karma is a mother. I'm trying to tell you. Hold on. Let me get a go more. <laughs> Yeah, I'm sorry. I slept with the karmic again. We know you did. Yeah, he went back to the karmic. So he's going to tell you, oh, divine feminine, I'm sorry. I didn't tell you about the karmic energy. Yeah, la, 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 la. 
This person, he has no stability when he went back to that person. Yeah. You connected with the Christ Conscious 33. Let's go. Tap in. Yeah. Your generational curse breaker. Let's go. Yeah. You have somebody, your masculine can have West, in, masculine, you could be have West Indian ancestors. So you could be J Jamaican, Haitian is what I'm picking up. This masculine. Something could be happening on a Friday. What's going on on a Friday? Let's see what's going on on a Friday. What's happening on a Friday? I'm going to get up out of here. I'm spoiling the fuck out of y'all. <laughs> I'm getting y'all all the goddamn tea. <laughs> what's going on Friday? Something going on Friday. Y'all let me know how this shit play out for you. Somebody tried to use, somebody using black magic on Friday. But you protected by Archangel Michael. Either they did black magic or they're trying to use black magic. These some old dumb some of You know what? You see this bullshit? Yep, we love it. I know, right? The the T is the <laughs> I know, right? Look at this shit, man. Look at this. Arch Michael got had to come in here and clear that shit out. Man, anybody got time with these guys? I told you, yeah, you are blessed, man. You ain't got them. Look at you blessed. Somebody got down was being gay for pay though. We already know who that is. That earth sign energy. That bullshit. That, 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 you know what? God got it. God did and God will. What's the next energy? I feel like this happened in the past. If y'all felt like y'all was dragging and couldn't move and felt like you was, you was stuck and you was overeating and you didn't know which way to go. You were stuck in your head. That was that fucking black magic child. And I'm on here a little bit longer. Remember, love, healing is a time process. You're healing slowly but surely. Yeah. What's the next energy? The karmic took this masculine money. Yeah. A year ago. Something about a year ago that was exposed a year ago that the karmic took his money. So one of these karmics took a masculine money a year ago. So this same ball got them took your money and you took her back masculine. You know she was a thief. And you tried to work it out with her again? Okay. Weird. Somebody steal from you one time, they'll steal from you again. It's weird. Once a thief, it's always a thief to me. I'm just saying. Until they, you know, they get their self-weight regard. I mean, I ain't here to judge no goddamn body. I'm just saying, though. I had my fair share. Motherfucker got them, got them st sneaky fingers. The sneaky fingers you think she wasn't going to take from you again? She took from you before. Whether that's time, energy, love, emotion, she stole from you. The fuck? <laughs> Rose, what's up, Rose? Yeah. I feel like, yeah, your masculine can't chill. He can't relax. Masculine, you can't relax now because you know you 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 uneasy around this person because you know they're a thief. Yeah. When life throws you lemons, make lemonade and sip it under the shade. No matter what environment you are raised in, you are not your current situation. Remember, love, it's only temporary. Slow and easy always wins the race. Stop, think, recognize, and fix your crown. You got this. You're going to get through this. Hard knock life. Growed up in poverty. Suffered adulthood and childhood trauma. Growed up before your time. You lived a life of passion. Yeah. You curse the karmics. You kick their ass out of your energy. They send you a curse, you got them sit that shit right back. We'll turn back to sender. They ain't know you was that strong, did they? Yeah. I hate how the masculine is obsessed with you. He is still in love with you. This is that divine masculine that chose somebody else over you. He wasn't being real about his emotions from the get-go. He knew he was in love with you, but he chose to go with that other person. Maybe because you're fucking magical. Or maybe because people don't like you and his family. So, he was... Making his choice off of other people's choices and decisions, how they view you. When he knew deep down he did not love that woman, he didn't want to be with her. It was all sex based or how she presented herself. So maybe you didn't have the, the look. Or maybe, yes, I'm very intuitive. Yeah, Cheryl. Yeah. Hmm. Anyway. His loss, your new beginning. I, I feel like if you want to reconcile back with him, yeah, it, you can. It's, it's, it's positive energy here. I do get that he do want to apologize. He's in regret, but he needs to learn his lesson. 
And I feel like that. Make sure you put your boundaries up and look out for red flags. If you do want to go back to, towards the soulmate. He, both both of your twin, I, I feel like all I, some of you guys got three masculines out here that that wants to get back with you a a, a a karmic masculine, a twin flame karmic masculine, and a motherfucking goddamn soulmate. You got two masculines that's karmic, and then you got a fucking soulmate. And I feel like you don't want none of one of them, but I feel like the one that's the best option is the last one, which is your soulmate, which is what God is saying that you should go towards, which is saying that this person will give you a fulfillment. If you choose to still to to cooperate with that person, they do saying they that's what the universe is saying. I mean, I can pull that energy if you want to know. Universe, should they stay with this person? Yeah, but you just gotta teach him a lesson because it's like if you don't put him through the test or put him through the lesson, then you have to do it with somebody else. So it's either him or somebody else. You know, it's just you just showing up for yourself right now. You letting yourself know that, no, I'm not going to be nobody's second option. No, I'm not going to put up with this intolerable bullshit. No, you're going to take me for who I am or you won't have me at all. It's either this or that, period. Because you have let this masculine have opportunities and chances and chances over you for so long. So now is your time to put your foot down. So it is what it is. Yeah. Yeah. Now he's starting to understand this conversation now. Now he's starting to understand what the fuck you was talking about. Now he's starting to understand why you don't want to be you, why you want to be in a monogamous relationship. Now he's understanding that this polygam polygamous lifestyle is not, it's, 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 it's old. I'm not saying that I'm against anybody's sexual, you know, preferences, but I know what I prefer and my preference is being in a monogamous relationship to each his own though. You know what I'm saying? But now this masculine is starting to understand why you don't want to be involved in more than one connection. Anybody got time for that shit? If we ain't talking about procreating, then get the fuck out of here. If this ain't, if this ain't like the Bible days where we got to procreate and make humans, you know what I'm saying? You know, to, to keep this, the species living on, don't come to me with that polygamous bullshit. I'm, be, I'm being all the way real with you. The only way is to save fucking humankind. That's the only way I shack up and sleep with somebody else, other, whatever, whatever, whatever. And that's just being dead for real, y'all. If it ain't about goddamn sa being out for the cause of saving humanity, then that shit don't got them running my goddamn book. For real. Anyway, yeah, this universe is saying this is unconditional love. This is the love of your life. This is going to be the test of the, the test of trials. This is a relationship that people will be jealous and envious, but also happy and, and blissful to see. So this relationship is worth pursuing. Okay. The next energy I have is I hope that you can forgive me one day. I feel like you have already forgiven this person. It's already forgiven. Or, and I'm also looking at it like this, whoever that karmic energy he was around, he is not forgiving her right now. Whatever she did is unforgivable. Bull energy, this motherfucker is the devil. I just did this shit. I just realized that. Yeah, he know that she's the motherfucking devil here. She ain't shit. For real? She's demonic as fuck. Period. Let's go. Yeah, you gotta have him on hold for a minute. What's the next energy? Sometimes I stay awake thinking about you. So I don't feel like, okay, so I think this is karmic energy. He don't think about this person. Yeah, I want to feel that way again. And he do not want to feel that way with that, that karmic energy again. He don't want to think about her. He's in deep regret of think. Oh, he's in deep regret. Damn. He, he, he's wishing he never gave this person a chance. And he don't want to feel what he just felt from her ever again. He, she must have left a bad, nasty taste in his mouth. Yeah, she did something to him. Uh, Damn, fuck. Uh, <laughs> Let's see what she did. <laughs> I'm gonna get the fuck up out of here. I ain't fucking with y'all, man. High priestess don't tell everything. I'll be back tomorrow. I love y'all. We're gonna see what she did tomorrow. Tomorrow episode, what did the karmic energy do to this divine feminine? I mean, Divine Masculine. She probably did something to your ass, too. <laughs> I ain't fucking with y'all. <laughs> I love you, too. That's confirmation. I know, right? That shit feel good, too. Shit. <laughs>
Yeah, no, I ain't trying to be no buzzer, but shit, that shit, I got, no, I got fucking goddamn stomach problems over here and shit. That shit be hurt like a motherfucker. Bad ass confirmation, Bert, for real. Girl, make sure you send me a link, please. Okay, Andy. <laughs> Child, yeah, I'm going to be back on tomorrow. We're going to see what did the comic do to this. He's still a divine masculine. He just didn't know which way to go because her ass, cause, because she had his ass under no, under a illusion. I promise you, I promise you, she did. <laughs> I don't need even need the cause. I bet you she she put that girl. Let me put that put on me. Yeah, put that put on me. Yeah, how? <laughs> yes, <laughs> you can. <laughs> He's so angry. Yes, you can book um your reading with me, Dre Dre. With texting me at 980-312-7545, 980-312-7821, uh, I'm giving you my own, old number, 980-312-7821, my readings are 30 minutes for 30, uh, 30 minutes for $30, 30 minutes for $30, again, my number is Dre Dre, 980-312-7821. 7821-980-312-7821. Chad, y'all, y'all know I got story for days. I got story for days. Let me see. They may want me to tell it. Do you want me to tell it? Let me see. I'm gonna see what they say. Yeah, it's FaceTime. It's either Facebook. Oh, they say they want me to do it now. So I better stay online now. They said, nope, don't get off. So we're gonna see what this comic energy is talking about then. All right. All right, God dang it, I'm gonna go back home. Yes, it is FaceTime. It will be either Google Meets or Facebook. Um, Rashun, um, if you want to do Facebook Messenger, every all my readings is always FaceTime. Yep. So they say, hold up, hold a minute, hold. Hey, 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 hey. Smoke weed every day. Matter of fact, let me get my goddamn little clip. Hold on, let me get my clip, y'all. Shit, they want me to be on here one more time. One more round. One more round. One more. They said yes. If they would have said no, I would have been like, Von Boyage. I would have the six of cups, you. I see you in the morning. 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 Collective. 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 <laughs> I'm still with it. I want to get the fuck out of here, but I am doing a job. I work for who? The Divine Mother. And she said, my job isn't done yet. So guess what? I have to act silly so I can stay up to do this reading. <laughs> I know. <laughs> hey, Luna. Y'all, we better get into it. So we better see what this energy did to this masculine. Let's get into it. Nosy neighbors, nosy neighbors. What's up, my nosy neighbors? Let's get into it. <laughs> Y'all know we nosy than a motherfucker. I don't care. Don't be in my business. I won't be in your business. <laughs> stay out my business. I stay out your business. Simple as that. <laughs> All right. And then gave me some extra energy. I feel like I done had like a cup of coffee. And I know they just get, they just say, <laughs> They just gave me another dosage of energy. I mean, I'm like, I'm on cloud nine. <laughs> Let me stop. <laughs> Y'all think I'm going crazy. <laughs> That's how it worked, though, man. The divine will come through when you need it. <laughs> goddamn crown shock will be on goddamn, on goddamn Lulu lane. Goddamn like, oh, shit, I need to come down for a second. Hey, Shelly, how you doing, baby? And over here. So, let's get into this little witch energy. Hell yeah, I'm high of life. I love it. I can't ask for nothing more. All right, y'all. Lord of my... Ooh, I know a deck we can use. I haven't used this in a while. The Streets Are Talking Oracle Deck. Doing well. Great to see you. It's good to see you too, sis. So, let's get into this deck. The streets are talking oracle deck. Who are we talking about? The karmic energy, right? 
So we're going to expose what she was doing that this masculine feel like it is so in inconceivable, so devilish, so toxic, so narcissistic, so insidious. We're going to tap in and see what did she do that turned this masculine completely off. She was being a con artist from the get go for one. Yeah, yeah, he done kicked her ass out. She was stalking that masculine. She could be white. She could be mixed. She could be Polynesian. She could be Indian. She could be any of those races that has a fair complexion, right? Somebody may like the color blue, the, light, the color green. This is a night energy. So this is my Knight of Wands energy, okay? This is somebody who acts very young. She could be an older woman, but acts like an 18 to 22 or 24-year-old um, um, individual, okay? So she's very young acting. Um, she's very childish. She's a con artist. Um, I feel like that there is another woman here, a side chick. So there's two women here, okay? Check this out. Oh, shit. Damn, masculine. Two women here got caught. Doing some shit they ain't had no business doing. Okay? There's a side chick. And then I feel like this is the woman that he was committed to. Who was a con artist. Okay? Y'all following me? Look! Hey! Look! 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 I say, what What little boosie say? I just come to tell the truth. Yeah. How that song go? What's that little boosie song? God dang uh, yeah, Your honor? I must tell the truth. I'm telling you the motherfucking truth. I have a fiance now. She is uh, true, but is why my family and frenemies. Oh, wow. Yeah. I feel like there's no celebration. Yeah. I feel like you tell the, yeah, we telling the whole truth, nothing but the truth. So help me God. Yeah. This was somebody he was married to. They was doing witchcraft. Oh, he found this shit out. Oh, what I tell you? His wife and side chick was doing witchcraft. Either they was talking shit, they had bad intentions, or somebody got caught with the goddamn hand in the cookie jar. I don't know if this was sex magic. I don't know if this was projection spells. I don't know if this was talking shit. You know, spell magic. I don't know, but this motherfucker got... Look at this shit. Let's see. That's what happened. Ooh, did they get caught with the hands in the cookie jar? Did they get caught with the hands? In, was they doing magic on these? I better not. I better not pull it. I better not. You better not. Little ho, little ho, I ain't fucking with you. You little stupid ass, I ain't fucking with you. You little dumb ass click, I ain't fucking with you. There's a lot of things. There's a lot of things I'd rather do than to be fucking with. Yeah, he pissed the fuck off. They, they, somebody got caught with the hand in the cookie jar. What happened? Yeah, somebody he married. Here you go again. The someone he married. He ended this relationship with this woman that was a boss. Yeah, because of her sexual addictions. Somebody got caught with the, 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 the damn they were doing the do. What? Hold up. But she wasn't true. Okay. Well, okay. Or well, you're not married, you're in a long committed relationship. So they they got they, the, the, the side chick and the wife got caught doing the do. Shit, hold up. <laughs> I got, I know they did, yeah. Those motherfuckers got caught doing the do. Somebody got caught with their hand in the cookie jar. I told you. I tried. That's why this situation is unforgivable. Because his side chick and his main chick was goddamn doing the cahoots in the goddamn in his living room. Ooh! Stop for me. Double confirmation. Ooh! Ooh! Lies! Thank you. <laughs> Ooh, this shit didn't get motherfucker. Like I said, not everybody's situation, but somebody's situation. Don't you got them? Take the situation if you don't. If you believe it, it's not yours. Look now. 
Yeah, I told you they got caught. <laughs> Yo, I can't make this shit up. Yeah, with somebody who's mixed. I told you, Polynesian, Indian, Chinese, whatever the case may be. They got caught on camera. Did another girl? Damn! Oh my god, that shit got the, that shit to rip my heart. Oh Lord! Lord have mercy! No! No! He comes home from working hard to catch the girl. He, now, so this is another woman. Oh, hold the fuck, hold the phone, divine masculine. So you had two women you was dealing with. Masculine. And you ain't tell your divine feminine. And that's why you going through this karma. Because you tried to make her to be the third wheel. And that shit just got them played all ugly in your goddamn energy. That shit just got them just took a, took a goddamn big ass fart and diarrhea shit and just defecated everywhere. <laughs> I know that's right, Andy. <laughs> Man, that shit had to hurt. Look, yo. But, yo, when you do shit behind the back, though, man, shit get exposed, man. I'm just saying, though, you got to be more careful. You can't be doing people like that. You don't know who God, you don't know who God children are. You don't know who angel you got them fucking with. <laughs> Y'all, we got them doing the most, though, man. I'm not talking to every masculine. I'm talking about the ones who got them put this, put their divine feminine to this bullshit. Hey, Andy, I left her. She wouldn't leave me alone. She had a chance. Yeah. Chad, this is a motherfucking tea for your ass today, ain't it? <laughs> I think we done wrapped this shit up. Are we done with this? We're done. Thank you. I'm relieved from my duties now. I'm going back to my slumber to rest and get more messages for you guys. <laughs> yep. This case has came to adjourn. I put down my gravel. <laughs> Hold on, y'all. I put down my gravel. So we are done. Thank you, the divine. Thank you, bro. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, Archangels. Thank you, Orishas. Thank you, uh, the Galactic Federation family. Thank you, the divine mother. Thank you all energies, um, positive energies and other energies that also helped me along this journey. I appreciate you guys. Thank you for protecting me and guiding me and also the collective as well. I love you guys and we will be back tomorrow, same time, same energy. Well, not the same energy, but different energy. <laughs> but we will be back with more episodes coming from the Heart Knock Life of Tarot Chronicles. I love you guys. Take care and I'll talk to you guys soon. The universe said they love you too. <laughs> See, they say they love you guys. They say bye. <laughs> they say bye. We talk to you guys later.